Hello, you're back at Orange Bricks. And today, I've got the Lego Bookshop from the Lego Creator line. Uh, this set includes 2,504 pieces and is for ages 16 plus. It's set number 10270. Uh, this isn't just it. This is the lower half. That's the topper. Half. Well, top half, not topper. I don't think that's a word. Uh, and I'll be going through this video with you together and um, seeing all the different parts of it. First, we'll start off with the minifigs. And today, instead, I'll be holding them right there. This one looks like a grandma ish lady i love her torso actually i love all of their torsos nice hair and glasses this kid right here i love his torso too um this is my favorite torso in the set he's wearing a scarf i find it weird that this kid is wearing a scarf right here and this lady and these guys aren't in their winter clothes because these guys he's in his winter clothes and they're not um she i love her hair it's my favorite um lady hair i've seen in that's like that lego has done i i want them to continue that please continue that i've got two guys here um uh i think his and his torso could be a bit better because, I don't know, Lego just uses them too much, I think. Behind isn't that detailed either. Uh, this guy doesn't have an alternate face. This guy does. So, first face, second one. Um, uh, other guys, she does. Looks like she's napping on that one. Not sure why. Not a very good one. Um, uh, this guy, uh, I'll tell you, show you why this kid's face looks like that in a second. It has to do with the set, and she just looks like her other face now the main set the moment everyone has been wanting to see the actual bookshop sorry this is very bad footage um uh zoom out um this um, usually, most modular buildings come in just one. Well, these, you can separate. Because in the modular building series, there's a whole bunch of buildings that you connect can connect together. So, I'll start off with the bookshop, and then I'll start off with the house. I'll just remove the bookshop, I mean bleh, the house, and I'll show you the bookshop. So the front of the bookshop, one of my favorite parts is the tree. And I was asking you, um, and the reason why that kid was so upset was because his plane got stuck in the tree up there. This is one of my favorite trees I've seen Lego do. I've got a book rack right over here for people to give books and take books out um uh you've got the mobby brick right there in the window door opens birch brick books it says and you've got some windows and nice designing uh i really like the walkway what they did with it and they have some le leaves uh i'll start off with the main floor and take you through. Look. 
in here, you've got the cashier, cashier spot right there. And you've also got, if you remove this, you could see more detail. Uh, you got um, uh, some a bookshelf there and a bookshelf there. And the stairs is just goes up to the sec second floor. You got a couple windows there. And yeah, now the second floor. Sorry, it's kind of difficult to get the roof off. The roof easily pops off. There's just a little contract contraction right there. There's little studs and you easily pop them off and on. Anyway, second story is a little house up here. The thing I didn't like, what I don't like with this is the bookshop should be two stories instead of a house here. Cause I find this set, there's too much house instead of bookshop. Cause should just call this the house. Including a bookshop. Um, uh, got some nice features here. I like the chair. You've got it stairs. A big clock on the side. And a lamp. And now, this roof is a is a bit, a bit more different than the usual one. This one, the roof splits into two. So, I've got my other half. I'll show you. Right here is my other half. It's on the floor right there. That's my other half. It just connects right up here. So you walk up the stairs and you've got a really nice bed. And inside there, you've got a uh, gecko inside the tank. On that side, you just have a couple studs. And yeah, we're in here is just hollow. Yeah, just hollow. I wish I didn't do make it completely hollow. Um, but yeah, you've got a balcony. Yeah, for, I'm not sure if I'm mentioned that. We've got a balcony here. So in the second floor, the apartment. You can walk out here with your friend, sit, have a cup of coffee. Yeah, this isn't the only balcony here. These windows can open stuff. And yeah, it doesn't look very good on the sides. But yeah, I wish they made the, these bricks that color instead of that color because it match um uh i like the outside outline of the doorway it's nice make uh, the top of the bookshop i really like yeah this is one of my favorite roofs in the modular buildings behind is just plain old roof now or the second one. This one. I have also forgot to mention that if you don't like the way they wind them like this, you can easily take them apart and switch them around. Connect them like that. That looks good too. Um, I'll get rid of that. Um, right here, uh, you've got a couple of flowers at the bottom in the front. A lamppost right here. Interesting they use the candle pieces here. I really like the use of pieces in that. Very nice, um, 
uh, roof here. Took a while. Reminds me of the stuff from Lego Dots. The Lego Dots thing. Uh, I'm really, really happy that they made stairs that go sideways. Like, yeah. I'm really happy they did that. They got some windows that come out. And, yeah. And, uh, if you're wondering, uh, this, when you go in the house, you don't drop completely. There's actually a little basement that's only a couple studs wide that you can uh, head in. There's one more flower there. Ah. Like if you want to like, and and it like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of my other videos. Yeah. Inside, um, you've got some stairs to get you to, ma to the main floor. A ladder. I'm not sure what that is. C might be a sponge or something. I'm not sure. Table with a rag there. More stairs in the back and you got a pumpkin patch with some more things. Nice railings here. I, I forgot to mention. Um. Uh, also, on top of it, there's this. I'll show you what it looks like on, on. This is a house. We've got a couch there. No TV, I'm wondering why. And, oh, there's one thing I need to say. I'm going to complain about this. Why is there no bathroom? Like, there's no bathroom in this house and in the bookshop there needs to be more bathrooms in modular buildings there's only some buildings that have bathrooms actually i've only ha i only have one building that has a bathroom and that's the corner garage the other recent one anyway uh we've got a chimney newspaper um, in there is just to take you to the other floor. Um, and I mean, like, minifigs need to use the bathroom too, just to play with. Um, uh, got some paper here. This is a cabinet. Um, you've got umbrella and a hat. To open the cabinet, it's really hard, so I just take the umbrella and I open it up like that. To... you got some things in there, some... Things to cook with, microphone heads to hold the umbrella, right here, we've got a balcony, here's one of the other balconies, this window opens like that. You come up from the stairs here, and here you have a really, really nice bed. I personally like this bed better than the other bed. You could fit too many figs in here, but kind of squished. You can't fit, um, but you can only fit one of this person because her hair is so big, and she can't really fit because she's just going to fly off because of her hair. She just slides on and off. Oh, wow. She just, like, threw herself off. Um, yeah, you could fit one person right there, another person right there, father, son, <laughs> anyway, you got a cabinet right there, um, oh, and you also have a nice photo of a bridge right over there, then you walk out back to the balcony, where there's a couple flower pots, and, yep, um, uh, easily connect this just with some studs and some flat pieces they go on and this just pops up right there and that goes right there 
number of this building is 107. It'd be pretty lucky if you got this set and your house number was 107. <laughs> uh, nice roofing. You got a chimney up there. Chimney. Uh, some lights right here. And, yeah. That's all for this set. I don't have really much to complain about at all. There's one thing that I don't I'm not a big fan of is that flip this around. Uh oh. Ah! That's one of the things. This always slides off. I don't know how many times it has. Even building it, it slides off. This part just flew off the table. But it's pretty sturdy. You can open this right here. And you can get your ladder out. It's somewhere in there. Yeah, you can only see a little bit of it. But one thing I don't like is the back is always plain. It's always plain. Always, 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 always. Some corner buildings have like a little bit of it. It's fine. You could just leave it plain if it's like a little bit. But lots of space. You could do lots of things with it. Like, you could have put, I'm happy they added a garden over there. Like, they at least added a garden. Woohoo, they added a garden. Um, uh, um, I just wish that Lego would spend more time on this instead of just leaving it. Like, putting stairs to block it out and... I'm not sure. I like that you have the choice to break things apart and do it your own way. Hey, the, the pole just fell. Is that the pole or is that the tree? Yeah, that's the pole. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And, yep, thank you for watching today's video. Bye-bye for now.